So what are we doing now? We are passing tea. Handing Meg her tea. Thank you. And Danke schön. So we're gonna build <sighs> at a door. Gotta build a door, people. We're gonna build a door. And this will be the canteen area. Staying in the door break. You know what else we need to do? Dance. Yes. Boogie Wonderland. Ha. Ha. Dance. Need to build power and water. Otherwise people will be sad. Yep, we need a water supply as well. Probably keep that away from the... Uh, the power. The power supply. The power! Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> I was like, what? So we'll get some capacitors in here as well. Capacitor! What do they do though? Uh, they basically um, increase. Not enough money. I need more moolah. Shit. Shit. We need to like build the stuff for the grants. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree, but I also need power. The power of Jesus. So we do have money coming in. But it's very slow. And I, I just, you know. So this is in progress. When the people's safety is at stake. So we got build build a holding cell, build Man, a shower, shakes. kitchen, canteen, two guards, two cooks. My milkshakes. Your milk and shaken. Roadhouse. <laughs> Which will where I will be. Very soon. Mm, yeah. In the distant future. <laughs> So this is the canteen and area. Where else have we got? We got a kitchen. Where's the kitchen? Why is that? What's that? Why is there a random door? There it is. What? What? What is that? A random wooden? Oh, is that a crate? It's a crate. It's on me. <laughs> Not me. Okay. Indoors. My milkshake. Derp. Cooker, frink, sink, fridge. Uh, frink. <laughs> Fake and a cinch. <laughs> Frank and cinch. <laughs> More milk and chocolate. Bad milkshakes. Put the tea on the side. So we also need a sink. Need for a them dish pigs. Sprinkler. It so is sprinkler. Also need a bin. That's a cooker. Bin, 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 bin. At least several bins. Because prisoners are messy. Bin, 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 bin. So we'll give them two bins. Uh, we need another fridge. Bin, 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 bin. The stupid man. Give me a bin. Careful, your money. Insufficient funds. Shit. Ah. Uh. <laughs> So while we're struggling to uh, to, to do things, to provide anything for anybody, we're really crap at this. <laughs> we're like, yeah, let's just spend. Because you know why? Because the other prisons have had like a, like a big budget. Yeah, it already had money coming in. And now that we have to be in control, we uh, have to we have to budget as well. And it's just like we can't budget in real life. <laughs> How do you expect us budget in a game? <laughs> We can actually budget in real life. We're not poor. Send us money. <laughs> <laughs> like so a fund me account at selfish.co.uk. <laughs> you can find us on GoFundMe. <laughs> so while we're here, we can take down this wall. So that can be bulldozed. Um, quick rooms. Canteen, no. Common room, holding cell, kitchen. We don't have enough money. I, I realise we do not have enough money, but we do need to, we plan, need to, out, like, we need to plan out the rooms. Yeah. So I think, Sorry. which is going to be our holding cell? 
This remote has rebelled. Is it a, re a rebelling remote, is it? It's a rebelt. Ah, rebelt. I see. So this so is, is going to be our here. holding cell. It's quite big for a holding cell. It needs to be surrounded by walls and doors. Is a toilet and a toilet. bench. Breakfast. Yes. Breakfast toilet. Really want a Cinnabon? You can't have a Cinnabon. If anybody in wherever you are could find it in your heart to send me a Cinnabon. Don't send her a Cinnabon. I really want one. You can't have one. There's icing on. You cannot have a Cinnabon. I've told you this before. <laughs> Not bossing me. You're not having a Cinnabon? Yeah. Meg? Yeah, sure. Fine, I'll be good. Have That's not for everything. <gasps> I am always good. Yes. If by good you mean I'm lying right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What else is going on? Needs so a toilet. Literally just need a toilet and a bench. And then and that the, holding cell is done. bench, my love. And We've got seven hundred and five dollars now. There. Another bench in the toilet. Fucking hurry up, then. God. What is going on with these guys? What are they doing? I don't. They. They have problems. Yeah, they really do have issues, don't they? Oh, there's no fucking door to get in. Yeah, there is. There's no door to get out. That's what I mean. Like the door to actually get into the holding cell. There ain't one. So yeah, that's fun. <laughs> there you go. You can go up now and there we go. go. Now in. they can install shit. We're learning. See that, kids? We're learning stuff. Let's put our power supply. You mean we're a little bit retarded? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do this. We got a specialness. We do have a specialness inside us. We are the very best. Like no one ever was. To be special is my real test. To so breakfast is my cause? Yes. <laughs> Probably being really offensive right now. Probably. But we only mean it in jest. We're not we're not bad people. We're not really dickheads. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right, whatever. <laughs> yeah. There's a funny joke there, man. <laughs> Maybe. Whatever your name is. I don't even know who you are anymore. Buddy man. Boy face. <laughs> Remember when people used to call their partners that girl face and boy face? Yeah, I always find it really weird, if I'm honest. It's just like, yes, you've identified the gender of the person that you're with. Congratulations. Well Congratulations for the nations. Oh, what celebrations now? Jesus Christ, would you get food off your brain? It's hard when I like food so much. People who listen to this know my, know my feels. They know. Do not know her feels. They know my feels. They know when you... I don't have enough money to fucking hire a cook. I are at law. Well, yes. You got me. Yeah. I cook. I just made just two homemade pizzas. <laughs> and they were nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you, you've seen enough of what needs to happen. So we will be back once we have a fully fledged and fully once working we have money. prison. And money. <laughs> so we'll see you then. Hello people of YouTube. I'm being held captive. <laughs> My name is Marina Joyce. <laughs> World best publicity stunt ever. <laughs> Seriously, that was the most amazing publicity stunt ever. I know. She's really odd though. Yeah, it would take a very odd mind to, to come up with something like that. But just as a, as a YouTuber's fucking wet dream. She didn't start off. 
She kind of did. No, it's pe people viewing her videos going, oh. Yeah, just getting completely the wrong end of, wrong end of. She didn't actually start it off. Proverbial sticks. Oh, foundation, foundation, foundation. I'm not building anything. I'm trying to look for a wall. Uh, not a wall, a door. But yeah. But she is proper hard. I don't doubt it. Okay, maybe I can split that in two and have this as another cell block. Yeah. Like, I saw a video, I keep watching her videos because they are fucking freaky. Mm. And she just, when she was doing like a clothing haul, she was like dancing around like a sim. Right. Showing off each clothing item. But she was dancing around like a sim. Like a drunk sim. Okay. Like, it was so trippy, like, what the fuck? So awkward to watch. You couldn't also, you couldn't stop watching it either. Yeah. Apparently she had, like, drug problems and stuff like that. that. Wouldn't surprise me. A, a normal person wouldn't come up with that as a publicity stunt. A, a, a decent publicity stunt. Or just she a didn't normal... come up with it, though. Well, she had to put the idea in people's heads somehow. And she might not have come up with the initial idea, but she laid the groundwork for it. Maybe. Do uh, I think it was just a big overreaction to nothing. Uh, of course it was. That's I thought that's just straight internet is a massive overreaction to something you don't even know half of. Yeah, exactly. So like they were like, Oh, she's been trapped by ISIS, suppose she's yeah, just like okay. fucking hell. What the fuck she brought with one little girl? One well, little girl, she's like in her twenties or something, but yeah. she looks like a little girl. And she's lost a lot of weight as well. Mm. Like to the point where like her bra's falling off her and stuff like that. Yeah, so she doesn't look healthy. Yeah, she's not fucking healthy at all. Did you read this thing? So she was like, "I want to be a god." Oh, this is this is the best thing I've ever fucking seen in my fucking life. Tell you this right now, right? So <laughs> basically, she made this long ass statement saying, "Oh, I want to build a temple in Peru." Right. Right. Well, that's not, that's an ambition that you have. And it's a bit out there, but not so out there that I feel like, oh, it's not like you want to become nuts. an alien or something like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, then she's like, I am a god. Right, and... And you are a crazy person. She's like, people are gods and stuff like that. And she's like, yeah, I just want to spread love and stuff like that. I want to build a retreat for people where they could do yoga and stuff. And I was just like, you're not a god princess. <laughs> Honestly, YouTube is the one place where the outcasts and and, and the oh, I don't want to say crazies because not everyone that does YouTube is crazy. Maybe a little bit narcissistic because I think you have to be to want to do yeah. this. You have to be a, at least a, a little bit narcissistic. But um, I mean, it, it caters it caters to an audience, and if you find that audience, then. I don't know what fucking audience she gets off, but she's fucking off of another fucking planet. I tell you this right now. Her head is not screwed on. Her head is not screwed on at all. And that's the audience, audience she caters to. She caters to the audience that feel disenfranchised by the rest of the world. Yeah, yeah there's feeling there's feeling left out and out, and outcasted. Right, there's there's feeling that way. Mm. Right? Because, like, you know, we're that's both... fair enough. We're both outcasts in some ways. We're both people that aren't typical people. And, don't yeah. follow norms and you know, trends and exactly. all that I, good shit you know, I'm not going to go and get a spray tan anytime soon or you know, wear high heels anytime soon or whatever but yeah like, um, you know th there's that and then there's tripping balls high on fucking mushrooms sort of weird and it, I guess if that's what people want to do... I mean, I could watch her stone quite happily. But sober, it's just like... I, th I think with stone, because you're... 
kind of out of your mind a little bit. You, you, you're away from. Exactly. I could watch her if I was high. I could watch yeah. her if I was high. Right. I think she'd be quite amazing to watch when if I was high. Yeah. I'd be like, yeah, let's go with the motions, man. And let's feel this sort of thing. Right. But she's like proper awkward, like to the point where it's like you shouldn't be doing YouTube if your mindset isn't stable. Because it's clearly not to call yourself a god. <sighs> yeah, uh, to call yourself a god, you do have to be a special kind of. You gotta be. I, I don't know whether intentions were. Oh, I'm a god. You should all worship me. I don't think it was that. I think she meant it is in. Oh, people are gods, and you know we should all. We're all gods. You know worship one another sort of thing and love one another and all this sort of crap. Yeah. You know, I think, okay, that's what you believe in and that's fair enough, right? Okay, I believe that, whatever. But it's just like, you might think, think and feel that way, but to actually say it and over a Facebook it, where you've got kind a, big, of, a big following as well. It's especially now that she had this this massive, massive increase in subscribers. She went from like 600,000 subscribers to like 2 million. Right. I think it was the other way around. Like not two million to six hundred thousand, but she she made a jump of at least four hundred thousand subscribers in at least three days. Well, yes, yeah, so like, I'm not gonna really give a shit about her because, to be honest with her, like people are saying to her under comments, "You're clearly not right, love, and you need some help." You, she clearly needs some help. Right. Yeah. And I think I don't think she's been trapped by ISIS or whatever. I think she's not right in her own mindset, mm -hmm. and that is what's the most upsetting thing to watch her out of all, because she clearly isn't part of the world. She's part of her own world, it would seem. Exactly, she is like quite, you know. Oh, everything's great, and you know. Spaced. Yeah. I, is the way is the way yeah, I. Yeah, I feel like it. she's on some sort of drugs or something, right? And there's been rumours about that as well, about her being on drugs before or something like that. But you've got to be on something or. Something. Something has having. to be a little bit screwed up upstairs. Exactly, like, and I just feel sorry for people that are like, because I, you know, I've seen people like her before, mm. like in real life and like online as well, and they haven't lasted very long. No. Because it, it gets to the point where they can no longer handle the audience that they've created for themselves. Exactly. Like because can they no can... longer handle the community and, and the responsibilities that a community comes with it when they can let, when they can, can't even handle their own brain and 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 what they're thinking. No, yeah, I know. Just really, I feel so sad for her. Like, I just feel like, you know, she needs. She just needs some. Love and she needs a, she needs a guidance counselor basically, in the nicest possible way. That's not like you know like a teenager needs a guidance counselor. She needs a guidance counselor because otherwise she is probably going to well, do herself some serious fucking counselor. harm. She needs a mental health counselor. She clearly needs a mental health counselor, and the way she talks is really awkward as well. Like it's not a flowing sentence that she produces. It's like it's almost stagnant, stagnant and. Very awkward, and she'll repeat things in, in, even though she just said them, and and it's just like, well, that's not normal. No. And I think as people, we should really like help, not say, oh, you're weird or whatever. Don't go, oh, you're weird, and fuck off, basically, with your weirdness. Yeah. But just say, you know, like, help one another. Yeah. Because it's not, it's not good for her to be the way she is. I just, I feel so, like, I just know something's wrong with her. And she's like, oh no, I'm fine, I'm fine. And it's just like, well, no, you're not, though. You clearly, in some way, I don't think she will ever be fine. In, hmm. as, as long as she stays in the space that she has, like, with the online presence she has... I don't think she'll ever be in, in a right mind. I tell you what, though. I tell you what, right? I tell you what, like this right, right now. Mm -hmm. There was like a whole day where it was like, hashtag Seth Marine Joyce and all this. But now no one gives a shit. Yeah. Now people just think that she's weird. 
I'm like, what the fuck am I the, watching? The people that found her in the first place that were looking for something to fill a niche. Well, yeah, of course they were, because they've probably fucking walked as well. Well, yeah, but they'll stick around. She will... Yeah, I know. After, after this, she will always have an audience. Yeah, of course she will, because we're all going to keep an eye on her, aren't we? Well, yeah, just in case she flips her lid. Oh, she'll be fucking flipped her lid. She's on a fucking other planet she is. For those of you not aware who... What was it? Maria Joyce? Marina. Marina Joyce, who uh, who she actually is, um, if you've been living under a rock. Um, basically, she is a YouTuber. She does, like, fashion and lifestyle kind of videos, doesn't she? I don't fucking know what she uh, does. Honestly, I, I haven't watched a single one of her videos. I just know about it because it was on Facebook for, like, at least four days. So, basically, what happened is she set out and put out um, a string of videos... And apparently in each video, there was like a subliminal message. Like, so help me, I'm being held against my will. Apparently there was chains on her feet and stuff Yeah, like chains, that. Um, you know, people shouting in the background. Basically, everyone... I, I use the term everyone very extremely loosely because I didn't think that at all. I thought it was just someone pulling an ex- insane publicity stunt because why would anyone kidnap someone and then force them to create YouTube videos. As soon as soon as someone said hashtag save Marina Joyce, she should have been straight on that. Should have been straight on and say, actually no I'm fine, thanks. But I, I know I'm an awkward person. I know I can do weird things, but actually no, I'm okay. Let me deal with my own problems sort of thing. You know. But that, but that's the thing, because she had such a following from that hashtag she would have basically been shooting herself in the foot and destroying her audience all in one fell swoop because yeah, it's a decent person thing to do in it she, she mentioned at the end of one of the videos oh thanks guys for saying hashtag marina joyce but she know i'm fine she said that, she said that on a video you know what i mean yeah she, she did actually put the put the record straight as it were and and, and eventually i mean eventually come out and say i'm actually absolutely fine maybe just a little bit nuts um but by that time, I think the damage was all, almost already done. Exactly, like, she people waited. Had already... She waited. I tell you right now, she waited. Because anybody in the right mind, as soon as that hashtag came out, you would have known about it. You would have fucking known about it. Yeah. If you've got a big following like she does, she had already a big following. And now it's, that following has it's, it's just grown. It's just... She knew fucking straight away, she would have known pretty much as soon as a few tweets went out saying it's hashtag seven rings joys, she would have known. She would have been aware. Yeah, and, right. and the the audience found her. She didn't find that audience. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right? I mean... She, she would have been shit. aware of it. If, if I had come up with it, if I had managed to pull off possibly the greatest publicity stunt in the history of YouTube then I probably I wouldn't be sitting at 121 subs. By the way, thank you very much for breaking 120. I've been doing my Sweden. But... Mm-hmm. Um, Honestly, th- thank you so much. Uh, means means the world. Yeah, hashtag save movie. <laughs> hashtag save movie. Hashtag hashtag fucking. Ha- hashtag moobster. Movie ISIS. <laughs> save the moobs. It's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's, it's just... absolutely ridiculous. If you actually look at the, <laughs> if you look at the situation, and look at the backlash that came from it all, you just got to think to yourself, what the fuck was going on? Because I don't think there was anything really that rational about what was happening in, no. That, no. in that stretch of time. Even if it was only a short, very short space of time, there was nothing rational going on in anyone's mind, really. I, I, just, want, I just want to hold her. I, I, honest to God, because I'm one of these people, you know, I'm like one of these people that just, you know, I, I, you, I you see pain and, and you kind of want to fix it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I just want to sort people out, sort of thing. And it's just like, as soon as I was watching the videos and stuff like that, I was just like, you're not, something's not okay with you. And you need to be loved, like, properly loved. And to have someone put you back into reality. Now, you, she could have a severe mental disorder, right? And I think there's only so much you can tell a person when they have a severe mental disorder. Yeah, sometimes they, li- they you know, live in a constant state of denial. If it's in your biology and stuff like that, it's hard to correct that, isn't it? And sometimes it's never corrected and stuff like that. You know, so fair enough. You know, whatever. But I think some of the things... I feel like she's sane, but she's also not sane. 
that there's there's clearly something wrong upstairs. Like 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 I've said, but um. Well done. We're we're having a we're having a good time, ladies and gentlemen. We are having fun. Why is this guy not going to his fucking? Let, he's just crapped himself. He's just shitting all over the place. What the fuck is he doing? Did you hire the cleaners? I did hire the cleaners. Are you cleaners sure? Cleaners are you... working fucking overtime. Are you sure you hired them? I am positive I hired them because that's not the first time he's shit himself though. <laughs> just let him do what he has to do. I don't think you did hire them. I did. Where are they then? Around. I, don't, I can't see them anywhere. I was up from then there. Yeah. 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 So, I, so once we have a fully functioning, functioning prison, where inmates it will never aren't be shitting themselves, it will never be functioning. Um, we what? will come back and we will see what's going on. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are back and we have a fully functioning prison. It's not pretty. It's not nice. But it is fully functioning. Meg, what do you what do you think of our prison? It's beautiful. It is a, it is a, it's a thing of beauty, isn't it? Yes. It, it really is a thing of beauty. I hope you have enjoyed this series, ladies and gentlemen. We may do um, some more prison architect. We may come back and see how our little prison prison colony is doing. Um, but for the moment, uh, that is that is going to be it from prison architect. I want to thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully you will. Uh, enjoy more and more of my content. This is Sergeant Movie. And shut up Meg. <laughs> Setting off. <laughs>